If you've been working with clients one on one for a while, you probably already know that eventually you hit a point where you are capped on the amount of income that you make that it's not always about let's go ahead and raise our prices or bring on more clients. It's now time to start to expand those offerings beyond one on one so that you can start to reclaim your time and still have the kind of impact that you want. If you're in this position, you're probably looking into a passive income and seeing all the claims to fame online about it. Well, what I want to do is I want to dive into three things that people typically do not talk about when it comes to developing a passive income from your one-on-one -on -one offer so that you can move forward in a way that truly does serve you, your business, and your goals. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Number one is you do not have to reinvent the wheel. In fact, the answers that you need for what to create your passive income product from are already right in front of you with the work that you've been doing one-on-one. -on -one. So many times people think that, okay, I have to make something completely different for my passive offer than what I do one-on-one -on -one, when really the two feed into each other. So instead, what we wanna do is ask ourselves a few questions. First is going to be, what do your current one-on-one -on -one clients typically come to you for? So of course, your skill set runs the gamut of what you can actually provide people with because that's part of the customization that happens with one-on-one. -on -one. But when they initially come to you, what is the typical result that they are looking for? I want you to take that result and start to break down your process. So depending on the result that they want, I want you to write out first, where are they when they're coming to you asking for that result? So what is their current situation? And then what is the final outcome that they get, which is the result. And I want you to list out your entire process for that. So how do you take them from essentially point A, where they're at currently, to point B, where they want to be, which is that end result. And as you look at that list of all of the main pieces of what you take people through in order to get that specific result, then I want you to identify which ones of those could be done passively because the truth is you don't have to be there for all of this and that's one of the misconceptions that can happen you can start to create a powerful shift for somebody even just taking one piece of your solution and turning that into a passive offer for yourself this is going to allow people to essentially get a taste of what you do to be able to start the process with you and the transformation that you provide. And if we're looking at this from a straight business perspective, even having that one passive product that you can offer to people allows them to then be exposed to other products that you're creating and or your one-on-one -on -one services. So essentially, people are gonna be able to graduate up to working with you in different capacities all from this one mini product that you created. An easy example that I can give you of this is for me, I have a mini course that's called Pre-Sell and Profit Before You Create. It does exactly what it sounds like it does. It allows you to go through and essentially sell an online course before you've ever created it to make sure you pre-validate it. So that is a completely passive course that I have. That is a starting point that is using one of the many things that I can take people through one-on-one -on -one in order to create scalability in their business. Perfect, that one's set. Then we have the next level, which would be the Achiever Circle. So if you are looking for support from me and other women who are doing the same thing in their business, that is a membership community that has a high touch vibe to it. So if you came in and started with pre-sell and profit, that program, well then the Achiever Circle is the next logical step where we are going over things like launching and building your funnels and alignment and all that good stuff that happens in business. And then from there, if you're in the Achiever Circle and you want a more customized approach, you want me in your back pocket, all of that good stuff, well then that can lead to one-on-one -on -one or something like the collective, which is a six month one-on-one -on -one experience. So if you have things like that in your business, see how just one passive product 
can actually become the catalyst for the other offers that you have in your business. So you can do the same thing as well, but just remember you don't need to reinvent the wheel in order to even get that process started. Number two is that time and trust are not optional when it comes to developing passive income streams in your business. Why? Because it takes both of them in order to actually do it effectively. Now, I want you to think about it like this. When you were initially taking one-on-one -on -one clients, this could have been a year ago, could have been 10 years ago in your business, you probably had a lot of different iterations of your message. You had to test out different ways of what actually gets people to purchase. You had to probably tweak your packages quite a bit. It was all this learning process to get you to the place that you are today. The same thing goes for passive offers. So just because they become something passive that can be sold in over and over again, don't mistake yourself into thinking that initial build is just gonna happen like that because it's actually not. So what it's gonna take is upfront time for you to go through and see what that offer is, just like we talked about in the first step, and then developing that offer, getting your sales message together, getting all those pieces into place so that you really can make this effective for you. And then of course, trust in the process, because what is going to happen when you start creating these passive offers is that the now is happening. So if your vision is to have more scalability and freedom in your business, but what you're doing right now in order to create that, setting up your systems, creating your offers, all that good stuff, if it's not working as planned right away, you are going to be tempted to go take on more one-on-one -on -one clients. You're automatically going to go, well, you know what? It's so much easier to just make money this way because you're used to it that you start to default into that. And then what starts to happen? We see years and years and years of burnout being built up because you keep defaulting back into an old pattern and the, what I call it, the now money instead of seeing your future vision. Now that takes trust in order to follow. So know that as you start to build this up, no matter what the price point of this passive offer is or how you are putting it out there into the world, that you're gonna have to go through that same messy process just like you did with one-on-one -on -one of figuring out what your people want, um, what you wanna be providing, how you wanna be providing the messaging, all of that goes into this. So don't discount yourself by quitting when the time gets tough and like kind of going to what you consider the easy money because the easy money is actually what's keeping you in the same spot over and over again. So if your vision is to have more freedom, then we need to really give the time and trust needed in order to create the offers and systems that allow you to actually have that. So don't give up if something doesn't work out the first time. Remember, just like anything in business, this is all a testing ground for us to be able to get what we eventually want in the end, our vision. And last but not least, just because your offer is passive does not mean the marketing is, which means that while this course or this offer that you have can sell over and over again. And that's a beautiful thing. You don't need to keep like recreating it for every individual person. All of that is amazing. However, actually driving traffic to that offer, getting people connected to you and your brand. Those are all things that as a business owner, you need to be prepared to continue to do. So this happens quite a bit when people are used to a local business and getting referrals and different things like that. They move online, they wanna create these passive offers, but they forget that you still have to market them. You still have to build your visibility and your credibility as a business owner in order for people to even know that those passive products exist. So for you, it could mean giving your time in order to do that. So that means that you are out there pitching yourself to different audiences so that you can get exposure. You are out there making connections with different people. You are out there creating powerful content. Or if you're going towards the money side of things, well, then you're hiring experts that are coming in and helping you with that marketing so that you actually can be selling this passive product. So just remember, just because the offer can sell over and over again, it is up to you to be in the front of your business and actually sharing your expertise and what you have so that they know that that offer actually exists. So that part is not passive. So was that helpful for you? If so, let me know either in the comments or over on Instagram at Freedom Driven Success. And of course, 
depending on where you're listening, like, rate, review, subscribe, all, all the fun things because this helps us get the message out to more people. And thank you for being a part of the Freedom Driven Success community. I'll talk to you soon.